Okay, so I want to give you a, an update on my Kyosho Laser ZX6 setup. Um, when I was using this for the indoor season, I made a lot of little tweaks over time to the setup, and I documented those through my videos um, about you know how I wanted to get more steering out of the car and do this or that. <clears throat> and the, the general setup I had basically settled on was something for a relatively smooth track um, and you know going into the outdoor season um, that's no longer the case right outdoor tracks are much rougher um, you know they don't have a smooth surface it's either loose dirt or, or you know it could be hard packed dirt but it, it's more blown out so everything has to change so what I basically decided to do is go back to square one so set everything back to the box stock uh, setup and um, I made it just a, a few changes from that uh, to make the car more suitable for for my driving style at least for uh, an outdoor track style and what I actually found is when I made those changes and then went back to an indoor track the car actually felt pretty good um, so I guess maybe my my I started to get used to the car and my driving style with the car kind of changed over time so uh, I was able to more or less go back to the stock setup and, and be happy with it. Um, again, a few small changes. So as I had mentioned in, I uh, believe, the previous setup video, uh, with the front shocks, I'm on the outer hole on the suspension arm, and I'm using the long shock end, okay? And the reason for this is as you go to the outer hole with the standard shock end, uh, the amount of front droop you have will be reduced. So if you go to the long shock end in the outer hole, you'll have roughly the same amount of droop as with the shorter end and either of the inner holes. So um, by going to this outer hole, uh, the car lands better. It doesn't you know, bottom out or scrape the ground uh, nearly as, as much. Um, so the jumping behavior is uh, much more to my liking by going to that outer hole with a longer shock end. Uh, ride height, uh, it's, I think it's around 22 millimeters or so. Uh, front and rear. <clears throat> uh, on the rear, I moved the uh, shock to the third hole from the outer hole. So there's four holes total on the shock tower, and you could say it's third from the outside or second from the inside. Um, so it's a bit more laid down, kind of similar to the front there. And again, this has more to do with the landing behavior. You know, I want to keep the rear from slapping the ground. Um, and in terms of the uh, pistons and oil, <clears throat> so for the indoor setup that I had, at least uh, when I was running at Walkit, which is a very smooth track, um, there's not much of a need for uh, uh, high rebound. Um, because it's a smooth track, there's not a lot of bumps. Uh, but when you go to a bumpier track, you need more rebound. So what I did was at Walkit, I was running four by 1.3 millimeter pistons front and rear and I believe 40 weight front oil and 35 weight rear oil, or maybe it was 35-30, something like that. Um, when I took the car to cruising with RCs in northern New Jersey, that's a much bumpier surface. Uh, and I initially started with that setup, <clears throat> and the car was you know, just getting thrown all over the place. So then I went to a lower shock oil, 30 weight front, 25 weight rear, but I still had the 4x1.3 pistons all around. It got better, but it was still getting thrown around quite a bit on the bumpier sections of the track. So then what I did is I took the 4x1.3 pistons out and replaced them with the stock pistons that come with the kit, which I think are 2x1.6 front and rear, and did 30 weight front oil, 25 weight rear oil, and the car was completely planted. Um, it, was, it was much easier to get on the throttle through the bumpier sections of the track. Um, you know, it still jumped fine and landed fine and cornered fine. Um, so it was a lot more comfortable to drive uh, with the, the 2 by 1.6 pistons. So this speaks a lot to the effect of the shock pistons on performance. Uh, I really should do a separate video in the setup tutorial series about pistons. Um, but really, if you're on, you know, if you're running on a different track surface than you're used to, or if the surface is bumpier or smoothier than you're used to, uh, don't be afraid to take the shocks apart and change the pistons out and run different oil. I know it's, it can be kind of messy and it takes some time, 
but if you have time between rounds or if you're just in open practice you know it should only take you maybe 10 minutes or so to do that and yeah it's a little you know gets your hands a little oily but you can end up with a car that handles it much better than what you had before so don't be afraid to experiment um, and that's what I did with this so I'm, I'm quite happy with the setup as it is right now um, again it's mostly stock with the exception of the shock angles front and rear and uh, I went back to the stock pistons I'm running a lighter oil and this is pretty much my outdoor setup and so far so good I think it, it works quite nicely um, the way that this is set up right now I feel like I have uh, quite a bit more mid-corner steering than on my low C22.4 and that's not you know necessarily anything fundamental to the laser versus the the 22.4 it's just the way they're set up right now um, and I think that has a fair amount to do with the uh, shock angle here right if you increase the shock angle you get more chassis roll so the car is going to corner more uh, mid-corner okay uh, so just keep that in mind if you change this shock angle to get better landing performance it will also affect the cornering but you can use that cornering change to your advantage okay so that's my setup right now for the zx6 this again this is more of an outdoor setup meant for a bumpier track um and for me at least it works quite well okay so thanks for watching